Okay, today's reviews on the Mining Morphin Power Rangers 2010 Red Ranger Training Set. Uh, basically, this is just a set of simplistic toys that usually come out for any Power Ranger season. I'm just doing this one for a specific reason, which I'll get to later. But first, the box. As you can see, is a very wide box of the Red Ranger. You can see art of him on here. Going to the side, a picture of the dagger. Back here we have a nice wide layout of all the vehicles in this line and how to combine, which I like. Art for red on the side. And on top, art for the main three male rangers. Okay, so, that's enough of that. Let's open this thing up. Okay, let's start with the ranger mask. Now for starters, the visor is a lie. It's just an uh, empty piece of plastic, so you don't get no visor. But from what I've seen of the older ones, it's uh, about the same. But yeah, besides that, it's just a simplistic, pretty accurate ranger mask. And the back is a little string, a little elastic band, little pads, three little pads. And again, it's not that much, it's just something for a little child to wear. Not for me, of course. That's really about it, for all I can say for that. Next up we have the Power Sword. Or rather, a shrunken, simplified version of it. Uh, most of the plastic's on one side, meaning the other side's a uh, hollow in the handle and the blade. So, yeah, very hollow sword. In size, let's compare it to the sword you get from the Power Blaster set. Excuse me. As you can see, there is a big difference when it comes to size. However, to be fair, this one's actually made more sure accurate. And the details on the side and the Toronto symbol are painted in on both sides. And the handle sticker is actually more accurate to the original one. Now, compared to this, th this I believe is the most sticker you got from this toy. And compared to this, uh, this one's more accurate. But again, both of these are just simplified versions of the Power Sword, so let's just leave it at that. Moving on. Now we have the Blade Blaster for the set. And here's right here. Uh, again, comparing it to the original, it is definitely a lot more smaller and more simplified, taking out a lot of the details that were on this one. So, I don't think you can see it, but there is some details of Power Rangers on the front of it, actually more um, molded into here rather than just a sticker. But anyway, yeah, smaller, um, lack of details. Uh, you could put it into the blade mode, push it back, close it. But there is no blade to it, so I don't know why they do that, though it's more sturdier this way. Um, this one doesn't light up, but you can actually shoot with it. It comes with two little um, plastic missiles. Plug it into here. Take this out of the way. Um, you can't shoot it because this is actually not a trigger. You have to use this button, which means you're kind of shooting like this, which is sort of awkward. But anyway, you get a little target also with the set. A little mini Lord Zed. Why could it have been Rita? I don't know. Anyway, let's shoot him. Now let me do it again. Pow! There you go. So, yeah, that's about it for this little blaster. It can shoot, it's okay, but... Yeah, you still might want to just get what they released this time. Okay, last but not least, and the very reason I bought this thing to begin with, the Power Morpher. Or rather, what we have for a power morpher for this line so far. Let's start with the power coin. Uh, you only get one coin for the set, the Tyrannosaurus Rex coin, for obvious reasons. Um, artwork and size, it's pretty much the same. Though for the paint, um, this one's chrome obviously, but they only painted this one gold on the front. The sides and the back are gray. Though the backing's the same as this one for some interesting reason. Enough for that. More for itself. Um, Size-wise, um, length, it's almost the same as the original. 
it's like slightly smaller by about like a fraction of an inch, like one eighth on several sides. Though on the side for thickness, yeah, because this one has batteries and electronics. This one's just simplified. And yes, it has a handle. Uh, to put the coin in is different from the original. Um, actually, it's more like the Zoo Ranger, how they did it. Um, there's two little tabs up here that fit into these slots right here. You just line them up, and it goes in. And there you go. And if you want to take them out, you have to push it through this obvious hole in the back. There you go. Now, Ben and I did something interesting with this thing. Let me just get this in. Now, on the original, when you first got this thing as a kid, uh, Ben and I messed up with the stickers. Um, it came upside down and it read Mighty Morphin Power Rangers inaccurate to the show. Now, this one, it has the right stickers, Power Rangers, but they did the same mistake again. It's upside down. And there's no way to fix it because this thing is just all one piece. You know, you can't open it or anything. Um, taking it out and screwing it, it won't fit because of these um, slots here, specifically for the handle. And this reminder can play also the handles very loose, comes off easily. So, yeah, interesting that they made that same mistake again after all these years. Fascinating. So, yeah, that's basically it for this uh, Power Morph. It's just a small, very simplified version of the original. Uh, that's about it for it. Overall, this is just a set of very simplistic toys from their original counterparts. Which is to be expected. This is a training set. Uh, most of these toys' qualities are the same as some of Japan's candy toys. Some of them have even been some of those candy toys. As for the Morpher, I am as unsure as anybody else is if ever going to be released for this line. Uh, this line has been pretty screwy so far because for several reasons. Anyway, so yeah, it's just a simplistic set for kids and it does what it does. I uh, bought this for $16.99, some places $19.99. I uh, only found it in Kmart and it seems to be the same for others as well, even though there's no uh, came our exclusive symbol. Anyway, that's it. That's the end of the review. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.